how to customize PayPal checkout page. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can customize your checkout page from PayPal and also how you can integrate it into your website. So it is very easy and very simple. All you need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you are going to be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to head over paypal.com sign in for your account and here we have the dashboard you need to see here the dashboard and also set up all of the information that concerns your account on paypal so once you are here you're going to see from the dashboard if anything is new you're going to see here the recommended for you option set up your paypal checkout for my case it is the same paypal checkout for the pay links and also the buttons so if you don't or in case you don't see here the quick links and also you have the older version of the paypal and you don't see here the setup uh, recommendation you're going to head over the pay and get paid link right there or item and from here you are going to see a menu or a mega menu like wallet invoicing make payment and accept payment so we are going to head over the accept payment and then we are going to see the paypal checkout click on it and from here you're going to see that you're going to accept from uh, uh payment online so we are going to click on get started and now we have two options we have the uh the custom built site if you have a custom built site you're going to choose this method if you have for example a, a, a website that you don't know how to uh, make that a specific checkout to it you are going to set up payment links or pay links and buttons so right there i'm going to choose a built-in site for example if i have a, a, a built-in website you're going to see here that we are going to get the api code for here also the username and etc so we are going to uh, get up here uh, the settings also you are going to see the live ones so when you are going to finish that you're going to head over the home page and everything is going to be uh, good so you are going to customize that from the codes and let's say that you don't know how you code you're going to select again from pay and get paid here a paypal checkout and we are going to set up the payment links for the first one it will demand from you a coding, a coding knowledge so you are going to add the api code to your open source website uh, right there also you are going to modify the appearances now for the links and the buttons which is the most common method right there is going to be like that so you are going to choose a link or button either you are going to select here a payment link and qr code or a payment button like that so for right there for the payment button you are going to see here three options create a product or service and customize your button for example sketched a stacked button or single button like that uh, also you can go ahead and modify the other things so and finally we get here the thank you page for the customization and here of course you have the preview of the each one of the pages so I'm going to select here a payment link and QR code. So obviously we are going to add to our websites uh, or from whatever platform like Google sites, Wix and etc. We are going to add a button from the websites and here we are only going to get a link. So we're going to see here payment link and QR code. We're going to click on create a product or service. Here we are going to select a, a single product uh right there and for the product or service name you are going to put a name for it so let's say that we are going to uh, have a t-shirt to be sold so we are going to put here t-shirt so like that and you can go ahead and add the product id for example 24 g o uh o o one for example the currency you can go ahead and choose the currency and the price is going to be fixed right there so you can let the customers buy buy more than one at a time for example here you are going to maximize the quantity right there for 99 for example 
and you can go ahead and do not ac accept or collect customer shipping addresses but i highly recommend for you to not do that because this is our uh, right there uh, method to be uh, uh, collecting uh, addresses and also setting up some marketing campaign in the future for the shipping fees so you, you don't have a uh, checkout uh, or a virtual checkout for a store right there so you cannot calculate right there the uh, shipping you're going to add it as a stack or a um, use a specific here fee for example we are going to put it as twenty dollars for the label for the customer note you can go ahead and add for example delivery instructions and etc and for the final case which is customize the thank you page we're going to set for example use a custom auto url uh, right there and push them to the specific area or you can go ahead and let them only on the thank you page right there so this is the, the checkout page and also this is the thank you page when you finish you are going to click on build it or build it and here you can get the payment link the qr code stack button single button code and etc so we are going to copy the link then we are going to head over for example here let's go and integrate it into our google sites we're going to choose a shopping store that we have and as you can see here we have for example this is just an example we are going to add this to the t-shirt since we have created one so we are going to head over here select the website and then we are going to click on button then the name of the button is going to be named by now for example I'm going to mention here the price or let it as it is. So for the link, we are going to paste the uh, PayPal link. Now we are going to get that button on the photo. For example, we are going to select it and put a little description on it. For example, best summer t-shirt. And here we have it. You can add, for example, a little description right there. I'm going to put it here and you can go ahead and add some description uh, and also quality and etc. So you can include the price like I did right there on here by clicking double tapping on the button and add the uh, for example the price and the dollar tag right there click on update and boom and whenever a customer go ahead and click on this button they will be redirected to the specific uh here uh check out or the virtual terminal like they name it so that was all for today's video thank you guys for watching i hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one